Hello and welcome to another edition of the... The English Couple. Whoosh. Sorry, we don't have the title today, but... We, we don't have it today because... You've got good imaginations. We're in the studio, as you can see, <laughs> and so in order to... Um, in order to facilitate that, it would have to go through a... It's cyber juggling. Exactly. So, yeah. Cyber juggling. And um, we don't want to do too much of that. No. Um, today, Julia, what are we... We've come up... It's you, your idea to come back into the studio. Yes, because you covered about... Well, we talked about supplements before, didn't we? Supplements. Supplements. Yes, what kind of supplements? I've got well, supplement skin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Supplement skin? You mean extra skin? Supple skin. Supple oh, skin. Right. Supple okay, skin I got that. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> um, so yes, no supplement. We talked about supplements, and these are supplements are things that you take in supplements. Yes, yeah, so vitamins to... and minerals. Yeah. Yes. Well, what about them? Supplementing your diet. What well, about them? The audience do... are going well. You talked about them. What about them? Yeah, you talked on, on about them on your other show. On my other show. And you showed yes. these particular ones off on your other show. Oh yes. Yeah, so we, what we have here. But we never did. Yes, we did talk about them on this show as here well. Here we go. Look, being did we? Yes. I don't remember. Before you did the thingy. Oh, right. So here we are. These are all from a chap called Clive DeCarl. Yeah. Who I've actually interviewed on my show, on on the other channel. And he very generously, let me just say, sent me a bunch of them to try. And uh, I have tried them. Very nice. And look, my hair has grown (laughs) luscious and more green than ever before. No. So anyway, go on. Um, the, the, these, These ones are very, very high quality. Um, and these ones aren't cheap if you buy them from, from uh, you know, well, if you buy them, unlike us, we, you, you were I was given them, them, yeah, so I haven't had to um, buy them. <laughs> but I think we're going to have to buy some more. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's always best to get to buy the best quality that you can buy within your budget, isn't it? So, um, why, so, so let's just sort of roll back a bit, if roll you don't back mind. A bit. Go on, why then. are we talking about stuff? I mean, other than the fact that, yes, they were sent in, but why would people need them? Because we need to be healthy, don't we? Yes. And you can't always get um, the best food, so you get the best that you can get and supplement. Supplement them with the minerals and the, yeah. I mean, I always assume, and I know you watching is very intelligent, but I always assume there's going to be a member of a member of the audience who are not as intelligent as you, which by doing that means, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's not get but it's always nice to sort of just explain the purpose and the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. kind of what you mean. You, you said it with words. <laughs> yeah. I use them words again. Them words, them so, words. So, um, so we just thought because the, a they were given to us, and there's a diff- and there's a nice range, and of course there's a huge range of supplements, and there are loads of places you can get them from. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do recommend this one. Yes. So, but there are others. Available. Yes, Clive is is good because I've actually spoken to him, and you know it's nice when you have a rapport with somebody, and you begin to trust them that they're not just flogging you know, something where you meet somebody in a pub and they say, here, do you fancy a dead horse? I've got one here. We'll chop it up and you can take it in a wheelbarrow and away you go. And you think, well, I don't really know where you got it from. So... Um, I don't know where you got the dead horse from either, but no, never exactly. mind. <laughs> but that's the thing. So so I know these are genuine and I'll put a link in the description of where you can purchase them. As we say, they're, they're not the cheapest of all, but I, I think they are 100% genuine and top quality. So we thought we would take a few of them because there's one which Julia has a very interesting presentation uh, to put forward when she takes it. Mm. Mm. So what we have is a mixture of pills, which you can't really see very well. So let's say what we've got. This is magnesium. Apparently the body lacks magnesium like nobody's business. We don't get enough magnesium in our bodies. Um, as we ought to and another thing and it does so many ills it does you know because I think the thing is the body will repair itself aid so many ills yes it does yeah aid so many ills yes that's true Um, and the body will repair itself if you just supply the basic minerals and And nutrients and vitamins that that the body just needs and normally or ordinarily would get from a, a healthy diet but as Julia said we don't always have a healthy diet and some of the crops are sprayed with all sorts of things and so it's not always possible um the other thing that is speaking of yes the charlie's farm yes i think we've been calling it an organic oh yes we better address that because a few people have said do you know that charlie's farm is not organic because and we thought what what isn't it (laughs) um i think we just assumed that it was because 
the meat quality was so good. Yes, I mean... And they were using terms like grass-fed. Now, this isn't to denigrate Charlie's Farm at all. No, 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 not at all. It's just it hasn't got the accreditation of yes. organic. I mean, probably mostly is, I mean, but, yeah. but there is so many fiery, loopy hoops you have to jump through to be, <laughs> <stay, laughs> be labelled as organic farm. Yes. So, you know... So they don't claim it. So, and, yeah. and so they clearly aren't, but uh, it doesn't mean... you can mean... still guarantee it's going to be better quality yeah. than you would get, get from the, the, the forced... And the thing about it is, is of course, they're growing grass and they have cows. It's not crops. Yeah. They're not growing crop. I mean, the only crop is grass. So they're probably not spraying the grass mm. with herbicides, pesticides, insecticides... Um, suicides, any of that stuff. They're probably not doing anything like that. Um, and so they're just growing grass and the cow's fed on it. So they make a point of it's, it's grass fed. So that's why it's good quality. Yeah. But it may not be that the cows are technically, organic. you know, organic. But then I did a video a couple of years ago now, right in the middle of COVID, where I went to an organic farm and they did have cows. Mm -hmm. But all they did was they did them from small... Yeah. And then they went off to be fattened up somewhere else. Right. And because they had gone to another process, you each process was supposed to be organic so that when it ended up where you buy it from was organic. But there was no guarantee. All they could say is for the first six months of this cow's life, it's organic. But it doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that from then on in it will be. And, and I don't know quite because there seems to be a lot of this misdemeanor. Misdemeanor? This misnomer, yeah. misdemeanor and misnomer, they're a lovely couple, you should meet them. Um, a misnomer that organic means totally organic oh. or whatever all the way through. But I think that it only sometimes it only applies to certain parts of it. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's very I'm no, confusing. Yeah. Whereas if we went back to mixed farming, local farms, you wouldn't need to call it organic. It would no, just be local farms just and they would food. just get on with it. Yeah. yeah. And done healthily. So that's... Uh, yeah, so never, we never used to call it organic 100 years ago, did they? No. Because that was just all you had. So there we are. I think that's uh, cleared up the yeah. uh, Charlie's farm. It's You're still a great farm and we have We're not saying we anything it. about it. We love it. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, it's nice on a Thursday to nip up that way yeah, yeah, yeah. and have a day out. But we had got ourselves muddled on it. But we were, we were still looking at the, uh, the better quality of life. So we're, we're happy to put our hands up, especially if you point a gun at us. Oh, um, no, no, no gun, don't do please, that. Don't though. do that. Um, but we're happy to, so if we get things wrong, we are happy to sort of try and correct them. Yeah. Um, so that was magnesium. But I wanted to also point out that something else that people don't have is uh, this. There's a nose clearer. No, is that it's the iodine? Nose. It's iodine. Mm -mm. Now, when I was a kid... That was the sort of thing you go in the hospital and they would paint it on you. And if you had a cut, mm. your mum would give you a bit of iodine. Mm -mm. Iodine? Iodine? Iodine. 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 Whatever. Iodine. <laughs> and, but it's another thing that we're supposed to get tons of. Uh, don't glug it like that. That's why it's in a small bottle. Yeah. So um, Apparently, you do get more of it on the coast than you do inland. It's so. in seaweed. Oh, right. I think it's yeah. in seaweed, um, if I remember rightly. That, and seaweed is actually really tasty, especially when you fry it. Is it? A bit of salt and pepper. We'll have to go down to the seafront and get some of that oily, nasty seaweed that they try and get Maybe shuttled. not that. No, no. no. They dump all sorts down there. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, it's <laughs> Like you to... and me. Yeah. They would do if they could get hold of us. Yeah. Um, yeah, it would be good to get some seaweed, wouldn't it? So that we mm, could... Mm. Um, to, to get, but it with. would be nice to get some clean seaweed from somewhere that, that I suppose these days you've got to farm it. And then is farming it as good as having it in the wild, but in the wild it might get polluted? Yeah. Yeah. Put that I in your I suppose we could get the little, the little uh, inflatable boat out and paddle out paddle for out. a while. Yeah. See what we can find. Yeah. Probably end up in France eating <laughs> frog's legs. So anyway, so that was ideal. Sorry, we might get seen by the doctor quicker. That's true. And then we've it's got a bunch joke. of other stuff which, uh, which we, will, we will go through. Of course, vitamin D. Is that vitamin D? Vitamin D, of course, is good because, especially in the winter, because we're supposed to get a lot more vitamin D than we do, especially in the Western Hemisphere, or the Northern Hemisphere, I suppose, because the sun isn't around as much. It's not as strong up, there, up here, is it? It ain't as strong. It ain't as strong. Now, I have to confess that we are not um, vitamin... Um, what would you call it? Knowledge people. We're not. We're not experts by experts. any. Experts. <laughs> Knowledge people. By any a, stretch of the imagination. A poor version of speech. 
Hmm? What? Yeah. <laughs> and it's... Oh, steady. Pardon you. Um, so, and then we've got this big tub here of exorbic acid. Ascorb... Is it ascorbic? Um, How do you pronounce um, that? Ascorbic. Yeah. Yeah, you I'll see, I'm as thick as ascorbic. anything. I don't know how Which is vitamin it, though, C. So. Now, <clears throat> this is fascinating, and we will demonstrate the vitamin C effect. Julia has their oh glass God. of water. There's, there's some warm water there, because yeah, that, that helps to... Um, oh, is that warm water? Yeah. Marvellous. That helps to um, we'll shove dissolve in a bit of warm. it quicker. And um, we need, according to this, we have one of these, one spoonful of this. It looks like sugar. Question is, does it taste Which like Which gets sugar? my brain all excited, like... Because Julia you know, loves her sugar. I'm a sugar it? addict. But unfortunately, sugar is not very good for you. Mm -mm. If you've got any kind of illness or anything like that, particularly the C word, it, uh, it seems to love that. So, here we go. It's a little bit of warm water, thing. it melts in there. And it's very pleasant. <laughs> Watch. Are you ready for this? Mm. Do be careful of that, uh, that lens there. Yes, I know. Three, two, one. I spilt it down myself. You're not supposed to do that. No, I was trying to drink it quickly. Is it tart? Mm. It's very tart. In fact, I had some oranges from the uh, veg box company, uh, some clementines or what are the other ones? Tangerines. Tangerines, clementines, or nectarines. Nectar no, not nectarines. No, nectarines. The other, no. There's a third one, isn't there? There's these small oranges. Anyway, you peel it up. And it was as tart and as sharp as... It's a very tart, sharp thing. Yes, it's a razor blade. <laughs> it was like... Bruh. Yep, there we go. That is apparently... Now, I um, don't have that problem, funnily enough, because I'm quite lucky. Could you put a tiny bit of I've got very sweet warm water drink. in there? Not sweet. It's better oh. when you do it, because when I do... Oh, that's too much. Yeah, that's good. Sorry. Um, when I do it, I always spill because of my one-eye situation. Mm. So yeah, that one turns my face inside out, like a sphincter. Like Some a, people may say that my face is like a sphincter anyway. Of course it's not like this. It's more like the sphinx, a gracious lioness lying on the Giza Delta. Oh, that would be nice this time of year. Ew, show off. No, I can take it without my face turning inside out. It is very taut, but... Oh, my face is going just now looking at you. <laughs> I feel all the, oh, it's like involuntary spasms. It like, starts at the front, it tightens I mean, up the lips. Yes. And like, uh, uh, you know, you can resist a lot of things if you put your mind to it. Yeah, but sometimes it just makes it worse. Absolutely. <laughs> just let the body go through the motion. So we need to have some of these other things. Yeah, so we've yeah. got zinc. Of course, zinc is supposed to be good. Um, and during the What do you zinc of that? Da -da 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 -da. But During the pandemic, of course, that people were sort of saying, oh, what with the virus? And any kind of virus, I think, you know, zinc and vitamin D are a good um, help, help the, the immune system. Speaking of immune system, yes. you've got these immunocapsules. Immuno. So what do they have in it? Vitamin uh. C, N, I can't even say that one. N-A-C, N, -A -C, N, -A -C, N -A -C. acetyl. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff. Cysteine. Chapel, um, lyse, lysine, quercetin, folic acid. Ice cream. Acid. It's got ice. There's a good ice cream. Coenzyme Q10, zinc sulfate, and a couple more. Oh, black pepper extract. I can say that. Black pepper. That's supposed to be very good for you. Diatomaceous earth. And also, I've heard now. Maybe somebody could could um, verify this. That salt actually is incredibly good for you. Because um, we do need a certain amount of salt. Well, yes, but we've been missold the idea that, oh, if you put too much salt on it, it is very bad for you. Now, it's very confusing because in the I've been around a few years, and in that time, we were told red meat is bad for you, red meat is good for you, red wine is bad for you, red wine is good for you, butter is good for you, butter is bad for you, butter is good for you, margarine is good for you, margarine is bad for you. There's all these sort of fads that come and go, and Sugar's you just bad think, why, well, it's bad like that, and now I'm speaking in a silly voice. Stuck in Italian accent, what is that? Something has just fallen. It wasn't me. Oh, it's my headphone thing. I've just got to go down. Just keep talking to the lovely audience. So, um, yes. Um, t oh, selenium. We haven't talked about selenium yet, no, have we? No, no. Selenium. What is it? Selenium. I don't actually know what it is, but it's like... <clears throat> it's, it's very smelly and it's very pungent. 
Um, it's like fat, isn't it? It's like it's, dripping. It's a bit like someone scraped the bottom of your oven after you've done a really big roast dinner. So you only need a drop of this, and what is it, one a day or something, and, and it's supposed to be very, very good, especially if you've got um, sweats and stuff like that, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, so do you want some? Go on, then. Not particularly. She says it's, it's the least of the, all of these is the least that is favorite. nice. So... This is, we have to do this to one another because you can't see. I mean, and it even looks like dripping, liquidized <laughs> dripping. I mean, and it tastes like, and it just stays on you. It doesn't taste as good as beef dripping. No. Though. Right, here we go. Mm -hmm. So you do need a nice hot drink to wash that down with. Some of these things, mm. of course, you need to have Greasy. with a meal. I think um, zinc, you're supposed to have it with a meal or something. Right. Mm. Greasy. Time for my little bit of zinky. Uh, not zinky. Hanky pinky. What? Um, no, not that time. No. Selenium. Selenium. Selenium Dion. Is that what her name was? Yeah, no, it's just Dion. There you go. One blob of grease fat. Grease fat? Oven fat? Grease. Carbon. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the first time we um, tried them... We actually spilt this a one. Drop. I can't stop the. Yeah. That's why I glug it down straight away. Mm, I did. I did. I did I'm the same. But it's still there. I don't. I try not to let it touch the roof of my mouth, because then it stays in my sinuses <laughs> all day. <laughs> oh, gar gargling with coffee, uh, and it doesn't That's make disgusting. The, doesn't make the coffee taste very nice either. Um, doesn't it? No. Oh, I'm so surprised. Oh, God, that's one I don't like. So we've got to make a note of what we've had. What have we had? We've, we've had, only had selenium, selenium and vitamin C. And vitamin C, yeah, because afterwards we'll have the rest. So what else have we got here? Now, what I haven't tried is fulvic minerals. Oh, yeah. Which I understand from what Clive was telling me. Fulvic minerals has been... It's water that's passed through a particular peat, I think it was, in <laughs> Iceland somewhere, that just so happened to have the right... Um, minerals within it and i'll tell you what it's got in there uh, a mineral complex including trace elements of amino acids and <coughs> organic acids which doesn't really tell you very much about it but seven drops in water and it always says water that's chlorine where does free. eight drop hmm? where does eight drop eight drop or seven or six seven seven drops in water so, never mind i missed that one it was a really <laughs> terrible joke <laughs> Um, is that all of them? We've got zinc there, vitamin D, the iodine, and the and the magnesium and the and the thingy. So magnesium. Magnesium. <laughs> yes, we will have all those. Swallow some of those a bit later. So uh, it'd be interesting to know what uh, if you take supplements and what supplements you recommend. Also, where you get them from, and do you go to the big? Uh, what we were told is some of these larger companies, the more commercial companies, may not, of course, have your best interests at heart. They may heart. not be as uh, healthy as. Well, yes, not, they, yeah, because they, uh, cause they, you know, they're mass produced, whereas these are produced in much smaller numbers, and, and it's like good quality food. It's always a bit more expensive, but isn't it worth? Isn't it worth paying more, even if you kind of get less, but it's better for you, mm. less more poison. effective. Yeah, that's what I would have said yeah. personally. That's speaking. what I would. Have, you know what? That's, that's what I would have said. Well, I'm glad I would have said what you would have said. Well, I'm glad you said what I would have said. Because well, then it's said it's, at least. It's all. It's all. And nice I didn't to have say. to say it. The thing is, of course, we as we said at, as we said <laughs> at, the, at the beginning of this is that all of this stuff should be readily available in the ordinary diet that we eat. But trying to get some of those things in at the right appropriate moments is not always easy. Um, and, you know, vitamin C, for example, is normally in um, fruit like oranges and lemons and things, which back in the old days would have been difficult to get hold of lemons and things because they come from abroad mm. and if they were on boats if you don't have vitamin c you were getting scurvy weren't you yeah, yeah. nice girl she would come round first thing in the morning wake oh, you up give over give over yeah. good old scurvy yeah get your leg um, over oh gosh now so, you got me at it so um yeah so i mean clearly we're we're incredibly intelligent and i was saying this on my other channel um only this morning here we are in a very sophisticated and clever world and yet the food that we eat is not up to scratch in many ways, especially the processed stuff, and that it's odd that we're finding 
in order to survive and keep our health that we have to resort to all these sort of... Um, Tinctures and potions. Yeah. Not potions, uh, powders and... But in the old days, of course, I mean, you're, you're thinking about, the, you know, the herbalist or the, um, the, what's that long word that I struggle with? The apothecary. Ah, which well I managed done. to get, I managed to say it. The apothecary yeah. who would come up with these tinctures and things and 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 all of that malarkey, um, which was which was interesting. And and people, of course, they would have known and had an affinity with the plants around them. You know, back yeah. a couple of hundred years ago, when people were well, in the country, far more than we do now. Anyway, we don't really. They would have brewed their stinging nettles and ate them and. And various. In fact, somebody this morning emailed me to say that during the last couple of years, because of the difficulties of getting out and things, he had been um, collecting wild... Wild food foraging, basically. Yeah, wild food foraging, and so that he could grow the various plants. And now, I don't think you're supposed to take the roots out, in actual fact. I think you're allowed to pick the leaves off, but you're not supposed to take the roots oh. and actually grow them yourself. I think there's some sort of law, but I, I imagine if you're doing it on the quiet, nobody need know. I'm not, I'm not, uh, not endorsing that, of course. You didn't hear it first here. But so that you could get your dandelion and your burdock and, you know, you could make up your own things, which I think is great fun. Mm, mm. And maybe when the spring comes, and it's on its way fairly soon now, we could do a bit of that, but go and Absolutely. do a bit well, of... Well, I've been meaning to do it for several years now. I did get a book. With elderberries, well, elderflowers, the, and then elderberries. The lovely Linda Kane sent me a book. I forget by the, the, oh, the name of the author. local... Uh, foraging. For, foraging. Local wild foraging it, Yeah, plants. and um, so again, that would be a lovely thing that we mm. could nip off to some but these days trying to find somewhere that has a that an is, array of yeah. wild flowers and that and is set back from the road so it's not yeah. too contaminated and doesn't have too many dogs running around yeah. on it footpaths so anyone's on the edge of footpaths you know that a dog may well have yeah i mean when, when foraging if possible it's always best to try and take from three foot and above yes because so you don't want to be down on the level where people can <laughs> Well, more to the point of all the dog, <coughs> the, the dog weebies. <coughs> Shouldn't have done. You're right. <coughs> Give me some more solarium. <laughs> solarium. Get me in yeah, the have solarium. Some water. Uh, I've got coffee here, which okay. is fine. Well, there's some water there if you need. Mm. I've got water in my coffee. So yes. You've also got water in ninety-five percent of your body. Oh, ninety-five. Well, all of your What's body, the other five percent then? Yeah. Anyway, I ruined that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, so it's all very exciting uh, about the... Uh, oops, sorry, I'm just having a quick look here to see how long we've done. We've done 20-odd oh. minutes. Yeah, oh. well, we should do 20 non-odd minutes. Yes, <laughs> those, we don't want those odd minutes all the time. Um, well, that's uh, supplements. So, yes, what we would like to know is what supplements do you take? Uh, do you take, but do you believe in this sort of thing, or is there something else you do? Obviously, other things like exercise and things is all good for you. Um, mm -hmm. But... Um, um, do you have trusted brands? Um, have you tried this one? Yeah. Tell, uh, tell us anything related. Tell us anything. Any, anything anything related trouble. and we'll be very interested. We'll be so fascinated <laughs> by it. But for God's sake, don't send me an email. <laughs> <laughs> well, so well by all means, do. But, do, don't, but please don't, don't expect, expect to reply. Any, yeah, that's it. And unfortunately, somebody can't keep up. It's I can't keep up. Too much what are you saying? I can't keep it up. What do you mean? <laughs> Which, uh, which what do you need that for that for? then? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a fill down there somewhere. Um, anyway, if uh, yes, if, uh, and for other conditions, you know, you might have got something that helps you with, say, rheumatism or um, autism or nautism. I can't think of any other isms at the moment, but um, uh, spiritualism. Uh, you might have certain things that help you, you know. We're not talking about a uh, ganja man or uh, a little bit of this. Well, there is the CBD oil. Oh, yes. You, now, that's is, not to is, be confused with the CBD banks. No. The uh, Central Bank Digital Currency. Don't get confused. That's CB, what CBDC, is, that is. Oh, right. Okay. CBD. Not ABDC. No. CDBC. Ah, what was the name of that band? my brain. ACDC. ACDC. Now, that oil is a different Thunder. oil. <laughs> that oil you get before Christ and after Christ. So, some of it's old, some of it's quite new. What was the question? Oh yes, I the, don't know anymore. the uh, the ma marijuana oil is that the stuff? Oh, you CBD can, oil. Yeah, you can and buy that legally, can't you? Yeah, it's, it's had the the um, the what do they call it? Oh, the THC taken out of it. H. I said H. 
Why do I? Say, I didn't. I don't normally say H. 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 Who says H? H. H. I know. H. It's H. H. It's H. Ladies and gentlemen, good old English, uh, Queen's English. How to say it? Absolute shout. Today's um, show has been brought to you by the letter. H. Not H. H I is know, the horrible. I thought it irritated us both. We've probably more. just upset members of the audience probably. who go, but that's how I say it. How else did she say it? It's like Shrewsbury and Shrewsbury. There's always somebody it who's going to. It doesn't matter how you say it as yes. long as you say it and you're happy. Yes, and as long as you're happy. Well, we're happy and we hope we brought you a modicum of happiness <laughs> on the show today. And if not, write to your MP and say, this show was rubbish. Mm. And no doubt they'll just write back and say it was safe and effective. <laughs> Which is all they seem to say at these days. Yes. Even though it isn't. Um, well, that's it, isn't it? It is, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think it was so okay. thank you very it much. Uh, here is a rerun of Julia's face when she had a little bit of absorbic acid. <laughs> and uh, here's a rerun of when I had a bit of the, um, what's it called? Selenium. Selenium. Until mm. next time, when we hopefully will be out and about in the lovely countryside doing our English couple stuff. Have a good day and ta-ta for now. Teddy bye for now, darling. Teddy bye. Bye. <laughs>